Hey everybody, welcome to a sunny, cloudy, foggy, cold, hot, windy, calm day. Yeah, I'm in the car, but there's no suit on today because this weekend I am headed on a road trip and I'm taking you with me. Now you're going to hear that song in the background, hear it? Guess what? The first one of you that lives in the continental United States, because guess what? I'm not spending $312.19 to ship you something in Belize or wherever you are. I appreciate y'all out there, but come on, really, I'm a working person. Anyway, you can tell me what the song is, and you're the first one to send me the email. You're going to win something really cool. So, I am on the road trip because there have been some questions. And that question is, you notice my logo says Paul Miro, Paul Miro Junk Pile Guitars, California. I'm Ken. Who is Paul Miro? Well, we're gonna drive about three hours and we are going to meet the one and only Paul Miro. When we get there, we're going to interview Paul Miro and we're going to talk about how he got into this business and since I can't play guitar, I'm going to try to get Paul Miro to play one of my guitars. So, kick back and enjoy the next three hours because we're going to let you in on it. Now let's go. into it and we are out in the middle of nowhere um, headed to find the elusive Paul Miro on what appears to be an abandoned date grove I'm a going to Mecca gonna take that right hand road baby Enjoyed this place. 
and they put a, a freeway right through, right through, and it took away the pond, it took away everything, and I've just been kind of hanging out here, it's pretty peaceful, and uh, that's where my eccentric music taste comes from, uh, but anyway, after a while, I figured out they cut off the road to the store, you know, it was a hassle to get to the store. So, uh, I went into Vegas and uh, took my crane operating skills and, uh, man, I really hated that because I come out of oil fields even before I was out here, but I really hated that. And so, uh, uh, when I got into Vegas, I was running cranes, swinging concrete buckets, and it was really boring. So I kind of got into palm trees. And then uh, that's what really put me out here was the palm trees. And uh, that's why my name is Palmero. It's really not spelled, you spell it incorrectly, Ken. It's not P-A-U-L-M-E-R-O. It's P-A-L-M-E-R-O, like a Palmero, like somebody that works on these day palms. Because you have to make like 10 trips up to fertilize them and thin the bunches and all that kind of thing. Anyway, you totally blew it on how, to, how you spell my name. I don't even know how to spell your last name, so you can't spell my name. I can't spell yours. Uh, we got something in common, but, uh, you know, I think I'm going to have to have my attorney talk to your attorney about this uh, misuse of my name. I don't mind you using it, but the way you spell it is just atrocious. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you can hear me. Um, so then when I got into Vegas... I really hated cranes, so I started moving palm trees around, and that was fun for a while. And then I just decided, you know what, I'm going to get me a good government job. And uh, I did that. And uh, so while you were playing around trying to figure out how to spell my name, I took your name and made a big career out of it and made a lot of money. So uh, jokes on you, uh, Mr. Ken Fis, whatever. So, uh, Anyway, uh, I do got some other trivia, interesting trivia to uh, share with you. You know, this is a historic site. Uh, they filmed a movie here. It was called After Dark, My Sweet. It had Rachel Ward and, and Bruce Dern in it. Um, and it's a pretty weird movie. But uh, if you get this movie right here, After Dark, My Sweet, and watch it, you're going to see scenes from that road you drove down on from what the house used to be and these date palms in the backyard. But I sure do miss the days before the freeway because I used to, uh, there used to be a swimming pool out back. I used to go out there and crank up to Joe Satriani surfing with the alien at about 400 watts per channel and uh, watch the, uh, the uh, owl predate the uh, rodents that were trying to steal my baits. And so I very much appreciated that. Hey, shout out to Joe Satriani, Surfing with the Alien. Uh, I hope Ken is going to give you a link below when he tells you to like his channel and subscribe and where his playlists are and, you know, the eye thing up there, if that's what he does on his channel, I really don't know. Wow, Paul, that's a really complicated story. I would have never guessed that uh, you went through all that. Um, listen... I can't play guitar, so uh, I brought a couple of guitars. Maybe you could give the audience a strum because they're really, really excited to hear from you finally. Yeah, so uh, it appears on the surface that we got a lot in common, uh, Ken, but I don't really think we do. Anyway, you want me to play a song? All right, well, if you make any money off this song, I want to I wanna cut of it because, you know, I'm, I got a big legal battle going on over this freeway right here, but... Let's see what I can do. You catch that? That sounds like all bones on him. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, I like that. I hope everybody else liked it. I, that makes me want to keep building these guitars, but uh, yeah, you got a lot of air traffic going on here too. Uh, Anyway, um, hey everybody, um, let's give Paul a big hand. I can hear you clapping. Believe me, Paul, they're clapping for you, buddy. Um, and um, maybe we can close out with uh, uh, 
you, Paul, playing one of my other guitars and giving us a strum out. So don't forget, subscribe, give me a like, make a comment about Paul, our friend Paul. Uh, he's the namesake of Paul Miro Guitars, Paul Miro Junk Pile Guitars, California. You know I got these shirts if you really have to have one now that you've seen Paul and you want to be part of the Paul Miro Army. Yeah, so uh, that's it. I got to get back in. I got a three-hour trip back into uh, L.A., so see you soon. As soon as I get done playing it here, I'm going to sign it, and then that will increase its value astronomically. But, uh, yeah, let me close you out here, and then y'all can get off my property. have a big hand for my camera person extraordinaire.